Stakeholders have embarked on an awareness creation on teenage pregnancy in the Isojaman district of the Eastern Region to curb the menace which is on ascendancy. The 321 teenage pregnancy cases were recorded in the said district in the Eastern Region during the year 2021. The teenage girls were between 10 and 19 years. Eastern region is one of the regions in Ghana struggling to combat high rate of teenage pregnancy cases. Nearly 10,000 teenage pregnancies were recorded in the region in 2021. 321 of these cases were recorded in the Eswejaman district. Rosemary Bukho, a resident of Eswejaman district, was impregnated right after completing JHS. She gave birth to her second child when she planned to go to senior high school. I completed JHS. I've decided to go back, but before the second one also came in, so I just think I'll just go and look for some work and do that. I just want to learn some work um, so that I can also help my, both my husband, then my children and myself too. The phenomenon has been blamed on irresponsible parenting fueled by poverty. A teacher of Abu Mayao DA Basin School, Nathan Addison, says education of many girls are being truncated by the rising teenage pregnancy cases. Recently, we are facing some challenges and it has to do with teenage pregnancy issues. Now, we know there is economic hardship everywhere, but uh, Abomaya particularly, the, the kids are, are suffering in that, in that direction. Most of them don't have someone who cares for them. Most, most of them, to, they, they struggle to, to earn a living. Some of them come to school with no money. And sometimes our, some of our college teachers support them financially so that they can be able to buy most of their things. So Abomaya is, is struggling, is struggling, and it's, it's covering the, the good uh, uh, intellectuals that we have. Owing to this, a non-governmental organization, as I Girl Foundation AIG, founded by an elder of the Church of Pentecost, has embarked on awareness creation on the teenage pregnancy menace with street march at Abomayao and Asempaneye, both remote rural communities in a Sujaman district as part of efforts to galvanize stakeholders' support to curb the menace. School uniforms were also distributed to the school children, many of whom had tattered uniforms on. Teenage pregnancy is breeding poverty in our deprived communities. These young girls, they give birth and they can't take care of their wards. So these children will just be there, no food to feed them, and at the end of the day, some of them are not even having clothes to wear. So teenage pregnancy is a, has a multifaceted issues. And I think uh, the nation as a whole, we have to come together so that we put resources together, do massive campaign, advocacy work, let them know the points. You can die, you can, you can lose your life, you can lose your future. At the end of the day, if you're Ghana, in Ghana here currently, education forms 90% of our future plans and our future livelihood. So immediately you are not able to continue your education. It means that you can have something better in future. Some parents share the opinion on the rising teenage pregnancy cases in the communities. Uh, today we are here to support Ice I Grow. Ice I Grow Foundation. They are very good foundation and then they are very good. So one day I was there, I got some uniforms and then I was there. I wanted to take this uniform to those who need uh, uniforms. Some of them, if you see when you go to the villages, you can see that some of the children, their dresses are uncalled for and then they also want to be a prominent uh, people in life. So when I, I, I saw it on the TV and I even went to the villages and I saw that they need such things. So I got the uniform and I gave it to Ice I go to go and give it to those children who need uniform so that they can learn very well. Teenage pregnancy has been something that is disturbing the town, the district, the teachers and in fact all the parents. Students these days, I don't know whether I should say should not do not listen to advice or not. 
some of them are not able to control themselves and most of the problems too are from the parents some parents instead of them to support the children financially physically and stuff no they don't do it they leave all the responsibilities to the teachers the criminal